Hi guys, very welcome to my number nine of my Houdini rigging tutorial series. In this tutorial I will talk about the capturing. If you're coming from another background, the words like skinning and binding will be familiar to you. The idea is very simple. You have a bones and you have your geometry and you like to move your bones and um, like that your um, geometry just follow the bone movement. There is also one um, term um, like a, a weighting. It's also very simple. If you can imagine you have two guys just pulling one rod and it depends how strong one guy just pulling uh, the rope the middle point of the rope will move to the strong one and if another guy now just pulling with more strength this middle point will just move to the um, uh, stronger guy. If you just uh, normalize this um, parent-child relationship, uh, relationship you have one point in the middle and two parents just pulling uh, from right to left and um, if we say the both guy have a, um, a same strength that the point in the middle will have 0 0.5 uh, weight to guy number one and 0 0.5 um, weight um, for guy number two. If, for example, the guy on the left just pull a bit more, then we have, for example, the weighting to this guy 0.7 and the rest 0.3 will go to another guy. Okay, that's it. that's it with this little explanation. Let's move on to Houdini and just look how the capturing work there. Now we are in a scene where we left off the last time. I have my killer set up now here. And um, first we'll talk about the uh, um, capture regions. Uh, what is a capture region? Every bone by default has capture region. If we, for example, select our clavicle bone and let's go to the capture tab and activate display capture region you will see we have something like a capsule here around the bone and now if I activate it here also we have now the capsule also for the shoulder bone okay now um, we have the geometry and now we need something to tell this geometry the bone has a um, capture region and we would like that everything inside or every vertex inside um, this capsule will just um, follow the bone movement within this capsule. For this we first need a geometry and um, if you for example importing the geometry for another application or use another format like like uh, Alembic for example in my case I have geometry um, as Alembic file here you see. First we have to convert geometry to the polygons. I just show you what the difference is. I create by pressing down the geo container. I will rename it to bunny underscore skin. I will down, dive inside and create merge or object merge sub 
and I will point to my Alembic file. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, we have here funny shot cam, I think. Yeah. This is Okay, as, as you see here, first we have to tell the object merge to get the proper scaling here. I will just disable this one. As you see here, if I just press on a information, we have only one point. And therefore, there is no uh, way to capture this geometry. First thing to do is convert this geometry to polygons. We press tab and just say convert. And by default, we're converting to polygons. And as you see here, we have now 16,641 point. And now we need the capture soap to be able to capture capture reasons from, from bones. And we'll take this bone capture. I connect it to the first geometry input here. And as you see here, we have first the capture regions. There is two ways to um, apply joints to this uh, capture sub. First one is using the hierarchy. You just can grab the, um, the parent of everything. In my case, it will be uh, the spine root or the spine bone. And the second um, method that I will use now is just to specify every bone here. But it's very tedious to do and therefore we will use <coughs> Python for that. We will write a little tool. And don't worry if you're not familiar with Python, just type it per um, just like um, one by one <coughs> or use the hierarchy method. First I show you how the hierarchy method uh, works and then we will write the Python script. Okay, I just go here and just grab my top um, uh, null or uh, top joint in the hierarchy and press accept. And as you see here, we've got now um, uh, capsules everywhere. And now we can also change the um, point color to color by capture. And our ge geometry now get the color from the capsule on the geometry. Okay, this is the first method. And now let's move to the second one. Okay, the second one is we have to grab the bones one by one. You see here, we can just take maybe the left, um, left shoulder bone here and just say accept pattern. And you see, we will get them one by one. But I like to um, make a little automatization and let's uh, write our code. I will show you in node editor what I wrote already and I go line by line and explain what I did there. Uh, this is our function. We specify the capture node using a home module. 
after I write empty string and then I go to all selected joints and just add the join path to this empty uh, string and after I'm setting the parameter of my capture sop as you see we have the name of this parameter here if you mouse over it says extra regions and we set this parameter to with a set module to the um, the string that we already um, adjusted with this join paths okay um, for example if I select the first bone or um, if we select this all hierarchy here it will go first to the clavicle and add this clavicle path to this empty string with one empty string between and after we get through all of these bones we will have every path separated with this empty string and after we just saying okay just put this string inside this parameter now let's test it I just take this and paste it in our Python source editor first we have to import the who module and after we just specify this uh, function and now I will call, call the function with the default uh, parameter here and for that we have to select our bones and execute and as you see here this script is put this uh, passes of the joints inside extra region parameter okay but now if I would rotate my bone and F key mode you see my geometry is not following because we need another SOP for deformation that's why I will create now the deform SOP and we have this bone deform and if we activate this bone deform node you will see we'll go first outside and we'll try to rotate nothing happens again because we have to specify in the capture node The capture pose. If you're familiar with another software packages like Maya, it's just like a um, um, bind pose. And there is a two method here. I will come back to these differences in the following um, uh, tutorial. But by now, I will just say. I like to capture my geometry on frame 2. Just change my timeline to 100. Apply. Maybe here also 100. 
and I would say here capture my geometry on frame 2 and now if we we'll, we will go outside of container and grab um, our control object and rotate it you see our geometry is following okay that's it for this tutorial if you like this tutorial please leave a comment don't forget to subscribe and i will see you next monday with a new one bye